Greetings, fellow crafters. Tis I, your Hello Queen. Welcome to my, welcome back to my court. Welcome if you're new. Um, in this video, I'm going to go over one of the two paintings I'm going to be doing in December for uh, some Halloween collabs. Halloween. Halloween. No, Halloween is over. For this year, anyway. For Christmas collabs. So stick around and we'll talk about the three that I'm going to use this to enter. Okay, so yes, this is going to be three different, this painting I'm going to enter into three different collabs. One is hashtag Winter Whips 2020 with Dynamite and Diamond Painting. I will leave a link to some explanations below. The other is Mindy and Kelly's Christmas event, uh, which is deep, hashtag DP Holiday Joy. And then the other one is Winter with DAC, or sorry, hashtag Winter with DAC uh, with Rachel Ray and Wolfpack Diamond Painting. Uh, of the three of them, the only one that actually, they had actually specified a manufacturer was the last one, Winter, Winter with DAC. And this is a Diamond Art Club painting. It is Festive Fireplace by Dominic Davidson. It is enormous. It is 98 centimeters by 70 centimeters. It is a landscape orientation painting. I'm going to have to work on it from one from one side. So right now, see how the tree is in this this third of it here. That's the tree that's on my table right now. It goes all the way up here. I can just barely fit this on my table. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to finish getting it ready. Now I did when I unboxed it immediately, I did when I unboxed it immediately kit it up. So this is it all kitted up. It was in one of those makeup type containers with multiple levels. So you'd have to sit there and dig the foam things out and stick them aside. And I didn't like that. So I'd stuck it all into a gift box. So I've got all my alphabets up here Then I've got numbers. Then I've got keyboard symbols, then I have some arrows, some different dots, some triangles, and then random crap going on, on down here. I have some of them in these little pots, because this had little pots in the lid of it. I'll put a picture on the screen of the kind of storage that I need. that I got. I had to get it specifically because this thing has 65 colors and I didn't have anything that would do 65 colors. And then on top of, so this is what I'm going to be working out of. This is what I'm going to have out whenever I'm working on it. It's a nice little Christmas gift box. It's very festive. We like it a lot. And then I have this container which has a sticker as well to let me know what it belongs to. And this is literally just all of the extras. So, this massive double handful here is all of the baggies I didn't open because I had a bag already that was open. And in here we have all of the extra drill bits. Uh, all the extra drills that were in bags that were just too big to fill the bottles that were in here, so they're now in here. So what's going to end up happening is I am going to be uh, doing a line of sections. And then when I get to the end of a, of a strip of sections, I will go through this with this and top it up. So this will probably stay in my craft room until it comes time to top these up. 
there are some gorgeous colors. There's 65 colors. This is the largest painting I've ever worked on. This is, my, this is the painting with the absolute most colors that I have ever worked on. I have no delusions about getting this done by Christmas, especially since I'm working on this side by each with the TSA. But we got to start somewhere. I'm going to stick these on here for a minute. Bring out my washi tape. Yeah, I, I originally kitted up as soon as I got it, and but both my unboxing and my kitting up videos went puff. So I got a big lip. Pretty minimal. Minimal lip. So I got some Christmas washi because of course I did. That's not Christmas, that's Halloween. That's Christmas. That's Christmas. That's Christmas. Oh, I like that one with the Christmas tree. I'm going to use that one. Okay, so not only for diamond paintings, I also for washi tape now. I got to find a better way to organize it. Oh. That will come. Okay. So, I would not suggest this for a beginner, but if you are a beginner, hi, welcome. The principle is still the same. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pull back your cover. And if you can see it, there's a slight sticky lip around the outside of the black line. So the black line's the end of where you're supposed to be drilling, but there's a slight sticky lip that goes beyond it. So what you want to do, because that lip will pick up anything in your environment. If you are leaning on that lip of adhesive, you're going to have a bad time because it's going to hold on to any dirt that's on your hands, any oils or sweat. It's going to hold on to any pet hair floating through your house. any dandruff, anything like that, it's going to find it and it's going to hold on to it and it's going to look gross. Plus, it's annoying as hell to stick to your canvas. Just, it just is. Trust me. I've also had problems with the lip of adhesive grabbing a hold of the boat that I'm working with. And when I go to pick it up, I have to pull on it extra hard. And then all of a sudden when it comes away, I have a cascade of drills. It's just better to cover up extra adhesive that you don't need. thinking I want to start on this side. Because to me, the tree is the goal. So if I want to get over to the tree in the presence, this part isn't nearly as exciting for me.
have something. I'm not even sure how I'm going to do that this big with washing. I'm probably going to have to break it up. Something's changed with me. Something's on the opposite. I'm feeling like I was on someone else's game. Two ways both. I think I see. I like to go back to sleep. Close my eyes. Mm -hmm. I think I will try to fall in gravity. Okay, so that's the bottom edge done. I've never, this is so unwieldy. I've never worked on one this big. I have some ideas on how I'm going to hang it. We'll have to see how they go. take me a while to get down at the bottom. Get down to the other end anyway. I'm going to start on this end, which I think I will. This is a big painting and I'm going to need all my motivation to get her done. Do the rest of that later. I'll put the washing tape in with these red rolls. Okay, so like with the other painting I'm going to do, I'm going to try something a little different than I normally do. I'm going to pull this down. I'm going to use these release papers. It has my sections. Normally, I section out with washi tape.
And I like working in sections because then I get the sense of accomplishment that I have finished something. And it gives me a finite piece that I'm working on. So the way this should work, and I haven't really done this, I haven't had these very long, so I haven't really done this much yet. To test the theory, is when I go to work on it, okay, so when I go to work on it, I will pull this one up and set it aside. And I'll work on this section and get it all done. And then I will peel back the cover and stick it down here. So I'll be constantly reusing the same one, two, three, four, the same 10 sheets for this painting. I just keep as I move this, as I have this one, I move this one down. As I finish this one, I move it down. And then when I have them all there, then I can cut this back a bit. So I am going to cut that about there. I had scissors a minute ago. big swath of the cover sheet gone and we've got all of the edges washied and we've got some release papers on which is only where we're going to start. And I think I'm going to roll the other end. Just to keep it from, it's already starting to pick up debris off of my floor. Eventually I will probably have both ends rolled to some extent. <laughs> now when you're rolling a diamond painting, you want to roll it with the diamond drill field out. Big old pucker here. It's not getting flat. use a longer piece of full noodle. But seeing as I don't normally work on a painting this size, I don't have any waiting around.
can't get to it. Perfect. So, I'm just using binder clips that I picked up at Dollarama just to clip it to hold. And there was one that was loose. Let's use that one. And there we go. Now, Now I can start working on it. I've got my drills. Got my drills. I've got my canvas. It's all set to start working on. So thank you so much for joining me. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Share it with your friends. Comments. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Keep it spooky, guys. Bye.